Hello everybody, good morning. It's Zoe and Bodhi here and we are gonna be talking about core strength after baby. And this video is for you whether you're a mom, whether you're a grandma, even if you're not a mom yet, but you plan on being a mom in the future. This is really important information, really not just for moms, but for all of us. But I did want to specifically chat about um, kind of what I have done in order to really get my core strength back just three months after having my baby um, and share some tips that you can use whether you just had a baby or your babies are 30 years old and having their own babies now. So I would love to know if you are a mom, how many kids you have, what their names are, if you have grandkids, share with us. Um, I was planning on doing this video on my own, but somebody woke up early with a little bit of hiccups. So here we are. Are. So first thing that I want to share is ensuring that you know how to breathe properly while doing your core work. And the reason why this is so important is because our diaphragm and our pelvic floor work together. So if we are not breathing properly, it's much, much harder to get our abs to engage and to get our core as a whole to function properly. It's kind of like a piston. So when your diaphragm moves up, your pelvic floor moves up, and when your diaphragm moves down, your pelvic floor moves down. So inside the Trim Core Challenge, that is all about helping us to slim, tighten, and flatten our abs, I teach you a stomach vacuum, which is a very intentional and specific way of breathing to teach you how to use your diaphragm and your pelvic floor. And we do that at the beginning of every single workout so that your abs can really kind of tune in and be ready to go, ready to rock. Um, so not only do we do the stomach vacuum, I'm also always training you how to exhale and cinch the belly in and activate the core. So that is the first tip. <laughs> the second tip is um, to make sure that we're actually working the uh, rectus abdominis. Sorry, I'm having a little mom brain fart. There we go. Make sure we're not just working the rectus abdominis. The rectus abdominis is the superficial six pack layer right at the top. We wanna make sure we're working the TVA, the transverse abdominis. That's the muscle that's like a corset and it really works to draw in your waist from all directions. And we make sure that we're using that muscle and training that muscle more than we're training our rectus abdominis. Sure, we still do a little bit of crunches, but I mean, really we're focusing much more on the muscles that are gonna pull everything in, tighten it up and give us that nice flat, lean core. So that is tip number two to clarify, work your TVA more than your RA. And of course, I have the full routine linked right around this video. You can tap that link, head on over and see um, not only you know, my experience, but testimonials from real women all over the world who are able to say, <laughs> I love my core, I love my waist, I'm feeling so great. Yeah, even after having a baby, um, which is a big change that our core goes through, right? Now, a lot of us tend to also do movements that are way too challenging for us. Um, when I went to my pelvic floor physio, she checked me for diastasis recti, and she was like, wow, I'm really surprised that you don't have that. That's pretty amazing because about 80% of women do. It's so incredibly common. And I think it's because we need to know the movements that we're doing are safe, okay? So I teach you very slowly in that eight week routine how to gradually work your way up to the more challenging movements. There's no point doing exercises that just are too hard for you and you can't do them properly. It's gonna cause more damage than good. Hi, baby, you're being so patient. You're being so patient. I understand. He's got hiccups 
and nobody likes the hiccups, right? So then on to the next thing. So we've talked about breathing properly in the stomach vacuum. We've talked about working the TVA more than the RA. We've talked about doing movements that are truly safe for you that you can do properly with great activation. And then the final thing that I wanna to touch on is the length of time that you are actually spending working on your core. I don't know about you, but time is of short supply these days. And um, I used to hear from so many women saying, I'm doing all these ab exercises, I'm doing a ton of cardio, I'm working out for an hour and a half every day, and I'm not seeing results. And then they're so surprised when instead they just spend 15 minutes of intentional, smart work on really working their core just three times a week, and they get better results than when they were spending five, six, eight hours a week trying to get the same thing done. So inside the Trim Core Challenge, it is truly just 15 minutes, three times a week. We do our stomach vacuum and breath work at the beginning. Then we move on to activating the core 360 degrees, we call it corset core training. So we're pulling everything in and getting that beautiful cinch of the waist. Then we move on to four minutes of cardio. Yes, I'm serious, it's only four minutes. That's because we do hit cardio that is still focusing on the waist that really helps us to mobilize that fat, helps promote a slimming of the waist, and gets us to burn a bunch of calories in a very short amount of time. So you can see how when we have the right routine, we just don't have to spend very long at all to get great results. Now, as I said, I linked that routine right around this video for you. And um, it's not just for new moms, it's for if you've ever had a baby, I would highly suggest this. If you are a new mom, make sure you wait until you get the clearance um, from your doctor to start on this because of course we wanna make sure you're nice and safe. Oh, and Roger is joining us too. <laughs> Everybody's in here today. Can you say hello? Hi everybody! Hi everybody! <laughs> We're gonna go have some breakfast, right? And get our day up and started and ready. But um, I just wanted to give you some some hope and some inspiration. I know it can feel like um, it's so, so hard to really get noticeable results in this area for a lot of us. And that's why I'm so incredibly proud that the Trim Core Challenge has already helped over 150,000 women be able to say, I love my core and get great results. So make sure you check it out. Um, head on over and tap the link I've placed for you around this video and I will see you again soon, okay? <laughs> Big hugs, lots of love everybody. See you tomorrow.